So in this video, I'm going to talk a bit about a macro that I found for LibreOffice Calc that lets you convert your tables into LaTeX. This is extremely useful. Anyone that knows LaTeX knows that it's a nightmare to write your tables. Most people want to use some sort of generator. There are online versions of this, but you don't want to be reliant on someone else's website and you don't want to be reliant on an internet connection. So this macro here, the link will be in the description below. You just want to open up this website. And here we've got some screenshots just showing you what the what the macro looks like. And you're going to want to download for openoffice.org. Now this website is a bit outdated. It hasn't been updated. It says here the latest version was released in 2005. It's an old macro, but it still works. There's nothing to worry about. Just download the latest version here. So here I've got the latest version downloaded. We're going to want to unzip that. And we see the directory has been made. We want to, we're going to just check that everything's there. Yep. So we've got our XLB files, which is what we want for our calc macros. So I'm going to head over to LibreOffice Calc. And I've got an example table here. This is just a table of results that I was using for a lab report recently. And now we're going to load up the macro. So we're going to go to Tools macros, organize macros, and basic. We're going to open up the organizer and go to libraries. Make sure you're in my macros and dialogues, not in any of the others. Import. And now we're in downloads, cutway tech, and we're going to select the script file. And here we've got it come up, calc to LaTeX, that's what we want, press OK. So now we've loaded up the library, how do we convert from this file into LaTeX? Really easy, we're just going to select what we want to be in our table. Go back to Tools, Macros, and then Run Macro this time. We're going to expand this, and we see we've got the calc to LaTeX here. Expand that again. And we're going to select main. So this is the main macro we want to use. You'll notice there are a bunch of other ones. You can have a look around at these if you want. But this is this is the important one. So select main and press run. And we get a nice dialog box up here. So we've got the option to choose do we want the tabular to be enclosed within a table or do we want it to just to be by itself. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Um, we're going to call this data. You can set the label. There's all these different options that you could just alter in LaTeX if you didn't like them. These are the defaults though. So we're just going to hit convert. And here we go. We get another dialog box. This has been generated for us. All we need to do now is copy this and paste it into our LaTeX document. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope this saves you a lot of time because I know it's going to save me an awful lot of time. If the video was useful, please like the video and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.